Good morning, happy Saturday. We watched a programme called Manifest last night, which we started, not last weekend, because we were moving, maybe the week before, or maybe that during that week, and it's on Amazon Prime, and we saw the advert for it when we were in America, and we had to pay £20 for it, I think I said this, but we're on maybe like six, seven episodes in, something like that, and we're loving it, and it was so nice to sit in the lounge and watch telly until we got too tired and went to bed because we haven't been using the lounge at our old house um, for the last like month or so, it's been full of boxes and things, but we got into this like habit of like being in our room a lot and it's really just so nice to have separate rooms. Like I know that sounds crazy, but just so, it was just so nice and like when the dining table's ready, we can eat dinner at the table and and we can just sit and watch telly and I just like, I just can't wait. I can't wait for like lazy Sundays in bed and just so lovely to be here. So anyway, we're up and we're ready and we're heading straight to Bista Village this morning. It's quarter to 10 right now. And we're gonna do a little bit of shopping. So we'll show you anything that we buy and then we'll be heading to the Crazy Bear. So full disclosure for this part of this vlog, this is not an ad. I haven't been asked to film, but we are going with the purpose of documenting for Instagram for an ad for Groupon. This is a Groupon deal. The hotel is available currently on Groupon. I think it's still available. So I will leave it linked below, um, but I don't have to. So I don't know where I stand with that, but there we go, you get the gist. So we're filming that this weekend and that will go up next week on my Instagram. I'm really enjoying working with Groupon. And when I found this deal, I was like, that is a great deal because I've wanted to stay at this hotel for so, so long. Plus it was our anniversary this week, as you know. So kind of just all tied in really well. Um, so we're just getting ready, just packing up what we need. Um, I'm trying to wear comfortable clothes. I've got this Primark dress on today. I just hate this neckline, but it's just really comfortable to drive in the car with because it's about an hour and 45, maybe hour 50 to the hotel. Maybe a bit longer to go to Bista. So anyway, I'm actually going to close up the curtains because we're going to be away. Although I think Benji's mum's popping. Benj, is your mum popping by this morning? She is popping by because we're going to get her to um, cut the curtains up. I was thinking, Benj, that photo that I was looking at of our new bed of somebody's room, they had like tie backs. And I feel like if the curtain was cut to the windowsill, it would be too short to have tie backs. Yeah. So I would like it cut, I think, I to, said, the, to the radiator. It's gonna be between the radiator and the windowsill. Yeah, I think just above the windowsill so that there's enough material that you can bunch it together and have a little oh, tie, have, to have a tie back. Like that. Yeah, so that it will come to about there, basically. I'm excited, so yeah. I need to clean the windows as well, but I'm not gonna talk about that. Oh no, what's happened? Oh, good. Okay, great. Look how lovely the sun is. I know I say this a lot, but look, I just can't wait to have this ready. Obviously it doesn't quite, you know, look right when the table's not together and there's not a door and a mirror and a ladder in here, but the work surfaces are looking insanely good. They look new, don't they, Benj? Yeah. They'll look a little bit different once we've put the oil on. They'll go really dark and then the wood will like absorb it yeah, and soak it up. One of the things we said that we like the kitchen but we weren't really a fan of the worktops. Um, so to have them sanded like, fresh and had to put the top layer taken off is what we wanted really. Yeah. Well, we'll definitely redo the kitchen at some point because the cupboards aren't exactly what we want. Um, but for now actually, now they've been sanded, just need, you know, the windows need cleaning and it all needs t tidying up. And once we have our kettle and our toaster and our bits out. I think it'd be really lovely. Like, look at that. It's disgusting. Oh, you can't see. It's really needs a clean. Can you see that? Needs a good clean. This needs a good clean. Again. <laughs> oh, look. Yeah, they're taking a picture by the sign. <laughs> it's the village. I think because this whole place is just very long. Like, it's a, like all one floor. One, one yeah, rather than being like a shopping centre. Oh, I'm really excited. We have just sung every musical and Disney song that we love. About an hour and 40, wasn't it? Yeah. But we're here, excited, and it was, well, it was nice when we left, then it rained, and now it's sunny when we're here. Look how lovely this is. I forgot how nice it is. Aww. Don't mooching for a whole day. <laughs> it's right. Hi. 
Oh, farm shop. It feels like you're in Disney. <laughs> it does, it's very Disney, isn't it? Well, it's very um, American outlets, isn't it? <laughs> Where do you want to go? I thought you were going left. Do you want to go to Timberland? Oh, it's so nice. I've got a really big coat shop which have lovely bags. No, because I'll buy a bag. No, you won't. You and me. <laughs> no, I went with you. Oh. So we did originally want to come, obviously, for homeware stuff, but obviously we are doing some of the clothes shops because there's quite a lot of good ones, especially for Benj. Oh, it's very busy though, like really hard to vlog. I do love it here though. Long shop as well. Oh, I love Longchamp. Where is it? Down there. Oh, I want to go in there. Oh, the cosmetics store as well. I like that one. I love shopping with you. You're a good shopper. Some damage has been done. We got a nice candle, which we'll show you from Joe Malone for the house. And I also found my wellies finally from Hunter. So again, well, I mean, you know what wellies look like. But yeah, I'll show you those at some point. I'm going to pop this in here. I grab my phone. Here it is. And now we're going to go to the Crazy Bear. All right, we've arrived and we think it's in here somewhere. This is so pretty, isn't it? There's loads of restaurants we can go to too. I don't know where the entrance is though. Okay, we went the wrong way, it's this way. <laughs> look how nice this is though. Look at all of that over there. Oh, I love it. I love going new places, don't you? All oh, right, they must be around this corner then. He said just past the kitchen shop. Oh, it's probably these massive green, yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, so we've just arrived. And when it's called the Crazy Bear, it is it living up to that name. It's this a bit that. crazy. It's very quirky. And I think there's 11 or 12 rooms. And each room is different. So you could stay and pick different ones. But I don't so know which. Is we've got 10, 10 other trips that we can do. Exactly, to try all the different rooms. So it's really nice because we're in our own little like, we come out of the hotel and like down the road a little bit and we're, it's a, it's a really gorgeous layout anyway. Front door, as you can see, everything is like velvet. And then wait for it. This is our room. <laughs> sorry, what? This is amazing. We've had to turn the telly off. I don't know why it's not quite turned off yet, but um, anyway, this is the room. And apparently the bathtub fills up from the ceiling. So that'd be interesting. I definitely need an Instagram sat in that bed. Look at the ceiling. Oh, it's Incredible. so insane. And then through here is the bathroom. Got double sinks, gold and black marble. Huge mirror. I just can't get over that we're here. Black bathroom and toilet. Open plan with like an open shower. I just can't believe this so amazing look at all the details oh wow really really cool and they gave us a glass of champagne oh we have some water there as well they gave us a glass of champagne on arrival as part of the group on deal and then we have dinner booked at 8 15 oh okay so we've come to the royal saracen's head we're gonna eat here have a little bit of pub lunch yeah the hotel's just across the road so we're gonna eat in here Bit of a late lunch. Oh, it's lovely in here. Oh. Okay, oh, Benji's. Nice yeah, I really want to try one of those chunky chips. Do you? That's a shame that you didn't order the chips. Yeah, but I really like little chips, but I've got the chicken. This looks good. But I'm going to try one of yours. We got pudding. <laughs> Creme brulee. And I have sticky toffee pudding. Oh yes, I'm happy about this. Can I try some? Mm. Mm. So we're just exploring the hotel. We got our free cocktails that came with our package. And this room is next level. This is the outdoor pool, which we really want to go in, but you have to walk through the hotel to get to it. So we're not sure if we want to go in now, also people can see you in the restaurant there. Um, it's freezing outside, so I'm not sure. Is it really hot? No, it's not. It's not warm. I'd be gorgeous in the summer. Yeah, it would. What a lovely area. Yeah, really nice. Maybe we'll, well, maybe, maybe we'll fancy it in the morning, we'll see. Yeah. We did bring our swim stuff in case. But it's so quirky, isn't it? And every corner there's like something else. Like, look at the stairs here. It's gorgeous. Love it. And then there's two sides to the restaurant, isn't there? 
Thai and then... They do have to be teen here as well. Oh, how nice. Wow. Look at this. Oh, there's a step. Okay. And then... Look how cool it is. I love it. So then we walk down here. And our room is down here, so it's like out the way, isn't it? Yeah, with all these must be crazy bare houses. Yeah. Apart from that one, where it's No, I don't think that is someone's actual house. It's in here. You can tell it is. Look, look at the outside. Oh, I'm going to need you to get the key, I think. I've never stayed anywhere where there's been a bath like, in the room like this. No, me neither. So how does it work then? <laughs> he said to just be a bit careful. <laughs> Whoa! Oh my, oh my god. Drum roll. You got there, is it hot? That's gonna take ages to fill up. Oh yeah, especially when I have the plug in. Oh, bench. Is there some bubble bath in there? What have we got? Conditioner. Conditioner! <laughs> bath and shower gel. Yeah, I'd say that is it. Do you want to put a little bit of that in? Did you not bring comforter with you? No, I did not bring the comforter with me. <laughs> How much are you putting in? Enough. Yeah, that's enough, I think, for now. You can always add more, you can never take it away. Oh, you've done the whole bottle. Okay, we've shut the curtains, and I realised <laughs> that there's a little wardrobe in here, and the light turned on when I opened it. And I'm just getting us a dressing gown each, because that'd be nice to pop on after. To get these out ready. I love this, it's so much fun. <laughs> yes. I can't remember the last thing we vlogged, but we had some cocktails delivered to the room. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And we had a bath. The bath um, was so funny. It was so funny. We basically, oh yeah, I filmed it, didn't I? So we poured the whole thing of that um, bubble bath in and it made so many bubbles. We were giggling yeah, so you much. You see me from my US <laughs> It was so in funny. So yeah, and then we've just been playing, well, I've been playing on my Switch and we've just been chilling and drinking our drinks and it's been really nice. So now we're gonna head on down to dinner and I'm looking forward to it. I don't know what, what the menu looks like, so do I need, I don't need a coat, do I? Because I'm gonna go. Yeah, I don't need a coat. Yeah, I don't need a coat. Yeah, I don't need a coat. I did forget to bring a little bag though, so I've got my big handbag, but never mind. Um yeah. I Let's go. Carry bag no, I'm alright, thank no, you. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I'm good. This will do. This place is really nice. We're in the restaurant. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? We've ordered steak. And if you order two courses, you get a bottle of wine, so... Well, you're not gonna Obviously, not. Obviously, we're gonna get a bottle of wine. And so we're gonna have dessert as well, yeah. because... Two desserts in one day. It's our anniversary, we're celebrating, so... <laughs> so yeah, we're just gonna enjoy our meal, we'll show you when it arrives. It's nice. We did the rookie error of looking up the menu online, but it wasn't the menu for now, so it's the menu should be changed. We looked at the wrong menu. Um, so then we're like, screw it, we'll go for steak today, because we're celebrating. Special. You know the restaurant's fancy when the salt and pepper isn't in shakers. It's in it's like a bowl and you sprinkle it. That's what it means. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right, we've got our steak. We've got our wine. Got some chips. Someone's excited. <laughs> this looks so good. Bon appetit. I didn't expect that. Neither did I. We've got um, panna cotta, but. I'm not sure. Hang on, is this panna cotta's in there? And then, wow! <laughs> you can't see it very well because of the lighting. Good morning, everyone. It's uh, about half nine, tenish, and we're just gonna pop our things in the car. I'm trying to multitask. It's not happening. Anyway, um, we had a really great stay. We had a lovely shower this morning. Wasn't the shower nice? Yeah, it's like, oh, what is that? A new rainfall shower. Nice rainfall shower. Oh, great. Um, and then we're going to go for breakfast now. We're going to Dunelm to pick up a rug, which sounds crazy, but um, they don't have it in store, like in stock in any of our local stores. So we're going to High Wycombe to go and get our rug, aren't we? Yeah. Anyway, that's the plan. Okay, we've had our breakfast and we're now going to show you what the toilets look like. Wow, imagine having like your birthday here with a load of friends. Really cool. It smells like incense. Yeah, it does. This is the bathroom. Look. Is this not the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? 
Oh my god. <laughs> right, we've picked up our rug. It's in the back. Um, we got it from Dunelm. In fact, a lot of our lounge is from Dunelm. Yeah, pretty much. Or Ikea. And um, now we're heading to Ikea in South Southampton. Southampton. So we're in High Wycombe at the moment. So we've got to drive how and long? A half. And a half. That'll be right. That'll be all right. It's a Sunday, so we'll see how we get on. But We ordered it online, didn't we? The, the rug? The rug, yeah. yeah. And it was, it says Bertie Grey. But it's not, it's kind of like a brown, almost like a teddy bear colour. It's like a, yeah, it yeah, is. We don't think, it, we're not sure, so. We, we're not 100% sure, and but we did get a bit of discount because it was the display one. Sorry, so. did we just put, did we just get the same rug that we ordered? Yeah, we just got the wrong colour. No, 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 we got tote brown and it was right. really brown. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, yeah, we got a bit confuddled. We, we got, got confused, yeah, we have it now. <laughs> It's all good, right. And also because it was um, an X display. Oh, my phone. Oh, no. <laughs> we've arrived at Ikea and... What have we? Well, we've been sat... You know where the barriers lift to get your ticket? 20 you know, minutes? Ages, yeah. I don't know what's going on. It's just Is road. the car park full? There must be literally one in, one out. I hate parking car parks. <laughs> I want a ticket, let me in. Oh. oh, whoa, whoa, we're in. You know it's busy in Ikea when there are no trolleys left. Look, this is normally full, isn't it? Okay, Ikea. We got this for over in that corner. We've got a Dunelm rug. We got a couple of lampshades and a few kitchen bits. Lamp bulbs in there and a potato peeler. I think that's pretty much it, is it? And we got side tables. Um, and we got some lights as well. So these are the side tables we've got. I'll show you them when we build them. And then, oh yeah, these are lights. Um, Benji calls it like a Pixar lamp light for the spare room. And this shelf to go above my computer to put stuff on. We have literally done so many shops. My camera ran out of memory space, which hasn't happened in a long time. I think it's because I took a lot of photos of the hotel on it. But anyway, we went to Dunelm, we went to Ikea, then we went to B&Q, Asda, and Screwfix, and then we went to the old house, packed up more of the kitchen stuff. I think we're pretty much done there now. I just need to go back and do a little clean and a bit of a tidy up. Um, but other than that, I think we're pretty much there. So that's exciting. But I'm just going to try and sort out, I want to put the rug down ASAP. It's kind of similar colour to like the lampshade. Benji's doing the grouting in the bathroom. And I'm also going to take a little picture of our Jo Malone candle. We went for Wild Bluebell, which someone on Instagram told me is the smell um, that smells a bit like Flight of Passage, which we didn't know. We just basically sniffed a few and decided on this one. Um, so, yeah, I'm excited to oh, have this out. They spray the tissue paper. Oh, oh, it smells so good. Did I tell you we're going for a Toby Carvery? That'll be my third one in a week. Don't judge me. It's Benji's dad's birthday today, so we're doing a little family meal. Um, and going there for a carvery, which I think would be really nice. Okay, here's what the new rug looks like. Is it flat? <laughs> We've just tried to shove it under the sofa, because that's how we want it to look. I think it could probably come over a little bit more, to be honest, we don't have that gap. Yeah, and then this is the new blanket box, which we're gonna use as a little side table as well. That's gonna go in here, and oh, that's quite annoying, isn't it? Ideally, I think the carpet rug thing needs to go further over that much. Obviously, we don't like this carpet that's down. It was the old carpet. I've said this a million times, but we've kept it down for now because we want to redo the whole flooring throughout the whole ground floor, but just not yet. Not yet. So yeah, this is what this is looking like. I've put our Buzz and Woody print up there, but I need to get a frame for it. I've just left it in the packaging for a minute. Um, and yeah. I know this has been a bit of a weird random vlog. <laughs> it's basically because it was too long to add to the end of my weekly vlog. I'd normally leave it in there. But it's now Monday and I wanted to wrap it up and I also wanted to show you my Hunter Wellies as well, which I know is a bit random, but I don't know if I'll remember to show you again. So as it was relevant, I picked up in Bista. I also wanted to say, I liked Bista Village. We saved about 12 pounds on the Joe Malone candle, which was more than I actually thought. And then I checked the price we paid £36 for it, or £34, I think, something like that. And all the shops are really nice. You've got your Gucci and your designer and um, coach bags, things like that. Like, there's some lovely shops up there. I also really liked Cathkiston, Emma Bridgewater, The White Company, 
but they were the only real home shops there. Mo most of it was just clothes, and I didn't find that there were massive savings. Like, it, it was good, and I do enjoy popping by there, but I wish they had more homeware and home shops. I did get my Hunter wellies, so I thought I'd show you those, because I did buy a pair of Barber wellies in the Black Friday sale in November. I had to return them, because I've got really big calves and I've got it's actually quite muscly like it's not just because I'm you know a mid-sized gal and I've got quite big legs it's just because they are always been like that even with like ski boots and I've always struggled with wellies and I basically didn't even think about it and ordered them got all excited with the deal when they arrived Benji's fit him fine but then mine were like way too tight so a lot of you recommended me loads of different wellies that have like expandable bits and I couldn't remember which brands were best but they did have Hunter there and I went in and I said to the lady look this is the problem I have and she was like oh yeah no I'm exactly the same we have three different styles I think would work for you so she started me off with the ones that you do them up at the back then we did the shorter wellies and then I ended up with these ones and for reference they're called the Norris Women's Norris Black FLD side I don't know basically they're the ones that are on the side buckle see so yeah, I went for plain black just because they'll go with everything and the RRP on this I think is over £100 oh field hunter field they're cool so I'll leave them linked below in case you're interested but obviously I mean I paid £64 in the outlet for them and yeah they fitted so nicely because they have this buckle bit so they open up nice and wide so I got those and then I also bought these socks whilst I was there I did try them on these are the boot socks and she said to go down a size so I did and tried them on and they fitted nicely so I'm a size 7 but I got the medium which is a 3 to 5 their sizing in these is a bit off I think um so yeah these ones were originally 35 pound but I paid 23 um for these socks and these are really nice they're basically like knitted um on the top I don't know if you can see that but they're like yeah like knitted style so these will look really lovely with the boots I'm really happy with them um so and all in together it came to 90 pound for the socks and the wellies so got those as well so that was our weekend at Bista and then obviously the crazy bear was really cool it was a really good experience I really enjoyed it I think it would be a great like anniversary or birthday weekend away um I loved the restaurant I liked how quirky everything was the only downfall was that the bedroom was really hot really really warm and I think that's just because the velvet was like all over the walls and the ceiling um, but the bed was really comfy I don't love like really fluffy soft pillows I have to admit so um I do normally like a bit of a harder pillow but that's quite common in most hotels I stay in um but the actual linen was so lovely everything about it was very luxe it was very very gorgeous like really perfect for our weekend away and our anniversary so i'm all makeup free and just trying to get through um, my working day it's been a mental day and um if you don't already watch my weekly vlogs please come watch them i've just moved into this new house and uh been uh, documenting that experience so subscribe to my channel if you've not already and thanks so much for watching this i hope you enjoyed the little bonus vlog if you're a regular viewer here on my channel and i'll see you again very soon bye